less than 27, adding complex numbers in the vector form. Now, start off with the vector PQ. It's PQ. And this is the tail of the vector. That's the tip of the vector, where the arrow is, going from P to Q. Now I have another vector over here, which is L, M. And L is the tail, M is the tip. Now to add these two vectors together, I'm going to move this PQ across here. So the direction is exactly the same, and the length will be exactly the same. So, so to add these two vectors together, you're going to go from P to M. And that's the same as going from P to Q and from L to M. So we say that PQ plus LM is equal to the vector PM. And you'll notice they're the outside, P and M, P and M. And that's adding two free vectors together. Right, now in this part, what I've done, I've, I've drawn two vectors which are originating from the origin on the argon plane. Now, adding these two vectors, what we'll do is simply move OP the vector OP over here. Okay, so it's the same direction, same length. And this is, we'll call it R. Right now, you can see here that because these are the same length and parallel, what you've formed actually is a parallelogram. It's the opposite, if the opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal and parallel, then you have a parallelogram. Now, we know that OQ, OQ plus QR must be equal to OR. There we have it again, there's the OR coming in. Right, now, but we know that this QR is equivalent to OP. So we're going to say that OQ plus OP equals OR. And that's a very important result because what we said geometrically by adding these two vectors together this is OR through here oh it's a bit wonky isn't it? It's supposed to be straight. Now that means that this forms a parallelogram and this will be the diagonal of that parallelogram geometrically. Okay, now we're in the position to add complex numbers in the vector form. And we take these two uh, complex numbers, P13 and Q51. Notice we've got I, Y here, so I have to keep writing 3I and I here. Now adding these two, let's form the parallelogram. So we need this point over here, which we'll call R, uh, over here. Now, to do that's quite easy. Remember, all you need to do is go, um, this, this point P is out one, up three, out one, up three. That's a different colour here. That's out one, up three. So from here, we'll go out one, up three. So if we go out one from there, that's going to be five plus one is six. And up three from there is going to be four. So there's our parallelogram which we formed. So from the last part, we know that if we add these two together, so OP plus OQ must be equal to OR. That means we know that Z1 plus Z2, we'll call this Z3 over here, must be equal to Z3. Now we can check this out. 
as before remember we did um, adding complex numbers together we'll say that z1 is equal to 1 plus 3i and z2 is equal to 5 plus i so z3 which is z1 plus z2 is equal to 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 4i and that's exactly what we've got up here